what's up guys welcome back to the channel if you hear some music in the background they got a party going on over at the park there's a park by my house and they jamming out today hey it is what it is but that ain't stopping no show today i got something to show you this is for all my guys who are looking for a seat i don't bs you about any product that i purchase myself i'm not gonna bs you about no product that somebody will give me either it's good or it ain't I'm going to tell you the truth or half the time I won't even review some guy's products because I just can tell that it's hunk of junk and y'all just trying to get some free, free advertisement. But let me show you something. Let me show you what I got for you today. So let's see what we got. Let me back you guys up. Just a hair. Bad boy cycles. Bad boy cycles. Well, go ahead. Take a look. Look at them. Look at it. And let's go over to. Let's go over to that own. Freedom series, okay? That's the Freedom series. This is the Scorpion series, and and not to not to not to uh, bash, but there's a CBO seat. So my guys who have a CBO seat, you can kind of see the similarity already between that CBO seat and the Scorpion series. And it's not to um, say that the the CBO seat is a bad seat, but this seat just needed to be jail. Honestly, it just needed to be jail, and it would have probably been a better seat. The quality of the seat is just a little off for me. The styling is beautiful. The craftsmanship is beautiful, and the seat is standing up to the test of time. I had this seat since 2018, but this backrest, remember? Remember I had to get this backrest? Bad Boy Cycles did that for me. Bad Boy Cycles was able to, and this was back in 2018, perfect match, perfect color, perfect everything. You couldn't tell that it didn't come from Harley itself. All right, but let me tell you real quick the difference and what made me say yes to this seat. Um, and it's very simple. Low profile, fixed all the, the imperfections from the Harley seat. First of all, longer tongue comes up way further because the Harley CVO seat had a gap. So it would show the end of the uh, actual... Um, center console there would be a piece of silver and the wires would be exposed so if you're ever showing off the bike they would be able to see that and they're like hey you know i thought it would be a little bit better than that but i don't know why it didn't ever fit the right way and everybody else's who i've seen does not fit the same way either the craftsmanship on this seat let's check it out like i said this is off these are two different seats remember this is the freedom series this is the guy who wants to put miles and miles and miles on the bike in a day this is fully jail. Let me flip that back for you. Jail backrest. Jail rear pillion. Okay. I'm not sure what fabric's inside of here, so I won't say much. Okay. I'm I'm sure it's like a foam. This is a couple hour seat though. I can I can get down with a couple of hours on that seat, but this one is twice. Maybe three or four times. <laughs> and I'm just being honest with you, man. I'm just gonna be honest with you. If I didn't like something, I would tell you guys right now trust me i would tell you this is a saver right here this is probably like the lumbar area of your back so your lower back you see how much higher that is and comparing it to you know what i mean you're not getting that that extra level this is probably twice the height of this the reason for that which what well, i'm just gonna assume because if you don't buy the backrest itself you still have this if you buy both gets even more comfortable it's almost like that couch right we all go for that couch feel but 90 percent of the time the couch uh style seats aren't attractive very attractive seat now go call your wife or your girlfriend because i want to show you something real quick all right here look at my hand on this seat okay now look at my hand on this seat i haven't stretched it anymore my hand didn't grow anymore <laughs> this is two of my hands three of my hands i'm just going from corner to corner three hands look one hand i mean like really really it's that much of a difference so guys if you have that tour pack you got the wife the girlfriend on the back she's comfortable she has a pocket put the cell phone put the wallet put the cash whatever you guys are putting back there boom and this backrest on the freedom series is a lot more adjustable than the one on the scorpion and and like i said this is for hours 
I can flip it down, kick my leg over, boom, lift it up, boom, boom, boom. This is the only part I wouldn't lock. The rest I lock. You know, if I'm I'm a shorter guy, if I need to if I need to bring it down and lock it in place here, I'm hoping you guys can see, and lock it in place like that, then we have that. If not, if we're, we're not even running that, it's still perfect setup. Let's go over to the Scorpion. Let me tell you something. This is why I chose the Scorpion series, okay? The low profile seat, it has a decent sized step, but the backrest, I always have to have a backrest. I've been spoiled with having a backrest and I'm spoiled on how low profile the seat is. And it's very comfortable. Is it as comfortable as this one? And maybe not. Only because I think they put this purposely. I mean, you could just look at, look at the back. Look at the back. See, see the, the space we have here? And then look at the space we have here. I can't even reach all the way to the back. This is for the rider. It's more comfortable. It just might not be your style. That <laughs> is the style with the comfort. I can put in hours and hours on that one. I can go damn near to sleep on this one. The the now now if there was a negative, right? If there was a negative about the seat, and I'm gonna show you right now, you can't see it. But in here, to lock this seat on, and, and I understand why they did it, it's very difficult to if I want to take everything and put it all together at one time, it's very difficult because you're hiding screws and then you're trying to fiddle and trying to make sure everything's lined up right before you lock that seat down. That is for the protection of the seat. So if somebody comes to try and steal your seat, yeah, they can take that off. But to take this part off, first of all, you have to have a, uh, a wrench. You can't do it without a wrench. I'm not going to tell you the size. You got to buy your own. I don't want nobody trying to steal my seat. But you got to have something. You got to have to you have to have a tool. But just as hard as it for to take off is just as goddamn hard to put on, which is a good thing, because once it's on, it's on. If I wanted to do the solo rider thing, it's no no problem because I just take the back seat off the front seat. The front seat, front seat, front seat was the one I'm talking about. So with all that being said, jail, your seat has to be jail. Backrest has to be jail. Pillion seat, wife, girlfriend, whoever you got on the back has to be jail. It has a little lip. It has a little lip. I'm sure you guys can see it. To keep that person comfortable. CVO seat had a lip. It's really not that firm. These seats are a lot firmer. But the firmness comes in for you don't want to be slouched. You don't want to have um, a lot of movement on a seat when you're trying to lock yourself in for hours of a ride. So let's just go around one more time. Remember, fully adjustable. Up, down, front, back and even you can tilt, okay? This is the Freedom Series seat, Scorpion Series seat. Now this is the last thing I'm gonna bore you guys with. I told those guys, I said, I wanna do a review for you, but I want you guys to hook my boys up and my girls. Hook us up, tell us something that entices us to buy the seat because the seat's expensive, all right? For the whole setup, it's not super expensive, but it's $800, that's the front seat, the back seat and the back rest. Okay, 800 bucks. Now, you might be looking like, mm, that's a pretty penny, but I said, if you can hook them up, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to give you my honest review, whether it's good or bad or whatever. 10% off for you guys, 10% off. MAC10 is the code. If you go to buy the seat, MAC10, M-A-C, and then the number 10. Get you 10% off. So if you bought an $800 seat, 10% off, you got 80 bucks off. Guys, I wouldn't say it's a good seat if it's not because you might catch me somewhere and be like, hey, you, you owe me some money, man. You told me this is a good seat and it's junk. And it's not. I'm gonna turn you around one more time so you guys can see this seat. On my bike, I got the all black edition, okay? Your bike, you might want red. You never know. Um, I'm going to try and get them to come out with a Mac Edition seat. How about that? <laughs> I don't want them to come out with a Mac Edition seat. A color that's a little bit different. A little bit funky like my attitude sometimes. A little bit funky like the bike's attitude sometimes. And and and, and we'll run with that. But, uh, guys, just look at the quality. Look at the... I mean, remember, guys, I had this backrest for three years. And this backrest don't have a tear a wear or anything and i used it every time i rode 
Yeah, I'll give it a little massage. You did good, baby. I appreciated you every time you let me <laughs> you let me take that ride, okay? But guys, MAC-10, promo code. You got any questions? You got any comments? If you have one of these seats, give me your honest opinion. I, we can actually have this conversation. That's how comfortable I am with having that conversation. If you're into the two-piece seat, this seat's for you. Until the next time, guys, peace.